Daisy, Dick says he can get the drive working. We should be ready to jump out of the storm at any minute. We'll let you know. Shouldn't you get to the command center for the jump? He'll be fine without us. Does it hurt? It does, a bit. But it's not the physical pain that troubles me. I am acutely aware that in my thousands of years observing humans, I never used to feel lonely. I have been alone many times. To be candid, I preferred it. But it wasn't until I met this particular team of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents that being alone meant feeling lonely. And I don't care for it, so I am feeling, as you might expect, some anxiety now. You don't have to. You're not alone. Daisy and I will stay with you right up to the end. That is very kind of you. But it's that last part, isn't it? You can stay with me up to the end, but you can't come with me at the end. I will have to leave you. And I will have to do that alone. And I can't help wondering when that happens, Will I feel lonely? I can say with some authority that you're not wrong. Dying is lonely. But the feeling is temporary. At least for the person dying. The ones who are left behind. Less so. I guess that's the one advantage to going first. Yes. It's different watching your friends go before you, isn't it? I have been through that as well. It can be harder to stay than to leave. I'm sorry, Philip J. Coulson. Enoch, the team will carry on the mission. We will survive because of you. Thank you. You are most welcome. But Agent Johnson, while your friends will indeed survive, the team will not. What, what do you mean? I have seen the future. Carry on this mission and cherish it, for it will be your last mission together.